So I've got the equation of a circle here. Uh, and to start off with that, I just want to sketch the graph of this thing. Oh, well, to sketch the graph of a circle, I, I need two pieces. I need to know the coordinates of the center, and I need to know the radius. Right? Then, then I can go over here, and I got some graph paper, and I can sketch this thing. So you remember what our, uh, our equation of a circle looks like? It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So you can see pretty quickly here that k is going to be... What what about uh, what about x? Because there there is no number being subtracted here. Well, you can always think of this as x minus zero squared. And so the coordinates of my center are going to be zero comma four. And my radius. And here you have to be a little careful. A common mistake I see is students want to make twelve the radius, right? It's not. R squared is equal to twelve, which means r is the square root of twelve, which is two times the square root of Three. Now, you can go to your calculator here if you like. Uh, the square root of 3 is about 1.7. So 2 times that is going to give us approximately 3.4. So the way I would graph this, and, and I know sometimes I'll, I'll have the program here do the, do the drawing, right? but I, I don't want you to see how I would do this if I had to do it by hand. So I'm going to start by graphing the center. That's going to be up here at 0, 4. Then my radius is it's really close to three and a half. So I'm going to go three and three and a half units in all four directions, left, right, up, and down. That's going to give me enough reference points that even with my very limited art skills, I can draw in something reasonably close to what that circle is going to look like. Okay, so I want, to do, I want to do the same thing here, only this time we don't have it in that uh, ready-to-use form where we can just grab the, uh, the coordinates of the, of the center and radius from it. But that's okay, right? I can get it into that form. All I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on the x and y parts. So I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to put the x parts together, and I'll, I'll leave a space here. Then I'll put the y parts together. And I'm going to move the two over to the other side. So to complete the square, remember how we do this. For the x parts, I'm going to do 4 divided by 2 squared, which is 4. So I'll add a 4 in here. And on the other side, I'm for the y parts, I'll do negative 8 divided by 2 squared, which is 16. Again, I'll add that to both sides. All right now, I can factor the x part to x plus 2 squared. And I can factor the y part to y minus 4 squared, and that equals 18. Great. Now, now I can get my center and my radius. So remember, again, this is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So what, now be careful how we handle these, these signs here. Right here, I've got y minus k and y minus 4. So k is just 4. Here, the, the, the signs are reversed, right? So you can think of this as x minus minus 2. Now, hopefully, it's, it's clearer that h actually has the opposite sign. h is going to be negative 2. So my center is at negative 2, comma 4. r squared is equal to 18, which means r is the square root of 18 which is 3 times the square root of 2. The square root of 2 is about 1.4. Uh, so 3 times that is about 4.2, or a fraction more than 4. So I'll, I'll graph this the same way. I'll go over negative 2, up 4. There's my center. Then I'll go a little more than 4 in every direction. Right, down, two, three, four, left, and up. And that's going to give me, again, a bunch of reference points. I need all the reference points I can get. See, already that part got a little dubious. Keep Get a good arc in there, and then there's the bottom part. There's the graph of my circle. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? No, nothing too, too complicated yet. Uh, in the next lecture, we're going to take a look at some situations where I give you information about a circle and ask you to find the circle's equation.